Hello everybody, it's Mike coming at you on vacation. So if you hear some weird birds in the background, that is why. And this one comes along at a good time as I need some more reading material by the pool. And that is a new Humble Bundle. And this one is the Coder's Bookshelf. And as far as Humble Bundles go, at least for me as a programmer, this is the first absolute no-brainer. I didn't even think about it. I literally just bought it right away. And that is for one book. Now, if you never heard about it, uh, Humble Bundles are basically collections of stuff. Often it's books, uh, software, games, you name it, along a general theme with proceeds going somewhat to the Humble Bundle, somewhat to the developers or publishers, somewhat to charity, and if you so choose, which by the way, thank you if you do, somewhat to me. And this particular one is a collection of programmer books from No Starch Press. Now, I've got to be honest, I don't have a lot of experience with No Starch Press. I think I've read one of their books in my life at this point in time, and I'm actually, thanks to these Humble Bundles, getting a gigantic bookshelf of things to read her. But what you've got is multiple tiers of books available. You buy a tier, you get all of the things at that tier and the tier below it. If you buy the maximum tier, you get everything. Um, and in this particular case, it is a little bit different because there is a final tier that has exactly one book in it. Actually, it makes it really easy because if you want to get that book, it's kind of a no-brainer. If you don't, you save five bucks because the last tier is $20 in this case. And as it stands, pretty much, if you see a single book on this list that you want, it is also a no-brainer. Each one of these books easily costs you more than the $20 total to buy them as a collection. So if you see a single book here that you like, it is, again, a no-brainer. So let's take a look at what is in here. And as always, I buy the Humble Bundle so you can see what formats of books you get. And in this case, it's pretty good news. So let's look at what you get. So at the $1 tier, you get Understanding ECMA Script 6. You get Learn Java the Easy Way, Think Like a Programmer, Python Playground. So it's pretty uh, pretty much the beginner tier. So if you wanted to have an introductory book to Java, uh, JavaScript or Python, could be, could be a good selection for you. Now at the $8 tier, we get more applied. So we've got Doing Math with Python, Wicked Cool Shell Scripts, Automate the Boring Stuff with Python, The Art of R Programming. That's the first one I'm interested in. I have no experience with R, and it's one of those languages I've intended to learn at some point in time. And then we've got the principles of object-oriented JavaScript. Not a bad collection there, but it is the $15 tier that makes it an absolute no-brainer for me. And it is this book, which is the feature graphic of this video, the Rust programming language. Now, I've been meaning to learn Rust for a very long time, and I know a lot of you on the channel are very interested in learning Rust as well. And sometimes I just find having a book, you know, helpful. And in this particular case, that single book there made this purchase a no-brainer. The Rust programming language is becoming more and more popular in-game development. Who knows if it's going to take off, but it is definitely one of those um, languages that is geared towards trying to be a C++ replacement. Now, you'll also see at this tier, we also get the Book of R, another book on um, R programming. This one is a first course in programming and statistics. Then we got Cracking Coach with Python and Practical SQL. So again, the one that made it easy for me is this one, but if there is a single book here, once again, it all makes sense. Now, the final tier, I bought it just for completeness, especially because because the color and the, the, the cover is completely different. So I wanted to make sure that the final book was available in all the same formats as well. I'm not really that interested in it because I just bought the last Linux Python, the Linux collection, um, which is still going on by the way. But this one is the Linux uh, programming interface, a Linux and Unix systems programming handbook. Coincidentally, it is not in the Linux bundle. So you're not getting a duplicate there if you bought that other bundle earlier on. And you're seeing there showing an MSRP of $79.95. Now that's an important thing to keep in mind when you look at these bundles. They say they are a certain price, but I always check Amazon to see what the actual Kindle version price is. Because in every case here, you're getting eBooks. You're obviously not getting the physical books here. So do a comparison, find out what format it is, and um, you know what the price is on a marketplace like Amazon. And you'll tend to find that these Humble Bundles are actually pretty legit. When they say they are, and in this case, I think they said it was $439. Yep. Uh, they generally are about that much. So, next up, we have da, 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 the books. Now, the good news here is every single book is available in every single common format. Now, sometimes they're in eMobi, eMobi, but not in e, sorry, in Mobi, but not ePub. They're almost always in PDF, but in this particular case, you can actually get every book in every format. So, if you have a Kindle, you are set. If you have a browser, you are set. And, as you can see, there is my receipt. And if you have a... Um, any other kind of e-reader, you're also set. There's also instructions here on sending it over to your um, 
e-device. You can email it to your Kindle and have them get there directly. Plus, you can come back here at any time and download your book. So first thing, the one nice thing about this bundle in eStarch is every single book, even including this one that looks a bit different, they're all available in all three common formats. So no matter what kind of device you got, you are covered in this bundle. Now, as I was mentioning earlier on, it makes sense to check the whole... Um, what do these books cost? And as I mentioned earlier, the one I am most interested in is the Rust programming book. Uh, so here you can see um, it's uh, $24.57 on Kindle or $25 on paperback. So basically to buy just this one book on uh, Amazon.com would cost more than the entire bundle. So like I said, if there's a single book in there that makes sense to you, this bundle is pretty much a no-brainer. Now, of course, again, I can't qualify to you how good Starch Press is. I can let you know after I've read a couple of these and, and let me know in the comments down below if you're specifically curious about the quality of an individual book. I can probably give it a scan and give you my opinion on it, but I would also be interested in hearing yours. What do you think of No Starch Press? Uh, give me that information, comments down below. Below. Also, let me know what you think of this bundle in general. All right, back to my vacation. Hope you guys found that useful and talk to you all later. Goodbye.